Hey, Collective. Today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages to my returning subscribers. Welcome back. And to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. Um, thank you for all of your support of the channel and of each other. Oop. King has just come out sideways um, while I was trying to do our intro. So let's see what's happening here. So... Um, if a reading doesn't resonate, don't try to force it to fit. Please feel free to take the rolls and reverse them as needed. And we're just going to go and hop right into the message. So let's see what's happening here. Hmm. King, criminal, captain have all come out. So this looks like someone... There's something about trans, a transgression or something to do with not listening to their own discipline, like making decisions in a situation to complete some kind of an ob objective because this person had some sort of authority. So this looks like somebody who abused authority. Someone could be getting out on parole. Um, this card says chef. So this says culinary, maestro, cooking, culinary artist, seasoning, proficiency. This says barber. Artist of tresses, trimming, beautification, adornment, and fashion. So this is interesting, the way this is coming out. Because it's two different, um, or there's several different energies here. So let's see what else is coming. It says genius, uh, bearer of gifts, extraordinary intellect, innovative mind, exceptional ability. get out some different cards to clarify I'm getting somebody who's abused power in something by way of abusing somebody emotionally or hiding something show me more with the moon this person could be going through a tower or that's what's coming there's some energy here about destruction of whatever this has to do with or somebody was trying to do that to you by way of emotional manipulation or there's something that's going to come crashing down for someone this is going to happen very quickly i just heard it's here and then gone I also heard a motorcycle in the distance. Um, so somebody could be, oh, ah, and a bike just came out on this card. So somebody could drive a motorcycle or there could be something that's, it, there's like rapid change that's happening really quick. Um, Ace of Swords has come out, so that's the message. There's someone who has tried to abuse power and this person's gonna be experiencing a tower and there's gonna be some moment of clarity or the truth is going to be exposed. About someone working really hard to cause you a bunch of frustration. Or this person is going to be forced to move for some of you. Or there's something about this being something that's too heavy to carry. Oh, this could be too heavy for this person to carry. I know I saw another card. Let's see. Yeah, whoever this is is losing their balance. So 
something that somebody maybe wrote down or some communication that they said or something um, where they tried to cause deception around an entity. So this could be a business um, or a family or a home. There's something about having to move on. This is going to make this person feel sick emotionally because they're starting to see that they have to. And this could be because they abused something. Hmm. Yeah, whatever it is that they abuse, this is causing them bad luck. Um... The Wheel of Fortune in Reverse has come out. So there's somebody here who's going to be experiencing some kind of a tower because they abused power. I didn't mean to rhyme. but um, So for this energy over here, I'm getting the Magician and the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, somebody could want to communicate with you now. Um, because this person sees that you're investing somewhere else, that you have manifested something new for yourself. This person can feel like you're very beautiful or like you're taking really good care of yourself. They could want to send you a message as an apology or try to offer something to you. Um, emotional. This person feels like you have an exceptional ability to be... What is this? What is the right word for this? The Queen of Pentacles. So whoever this is feels like you're, um, you have an exceptional ability to stay grounded whenever someone is doing something like this to you. Like this person, it's like they're seeing you differently because they tried to abuse some, some sort of like, um, leadership position that they had where maybe people respected them um, in some way. They tried to abuse some sort of power, whatever power position they had. Um, and this person is seeing you like you... Like your good luck. Like they want to communicate with you. They also see you like you're getting away. And it's funny because the way that it's showing is like you're getting away um, and you look happy or fun or energetic or something while you're getting away from them. Like you don't look normal. You look um, better than where they left you or better than how they left you. On this card, she's sewing something. So for them, it's something like that. They thought they ripped you to shreds and... You may have been in this energy at one point, but it's like you put yourself back together. And now you look peaceful. Um, you may also look like you have enough to give to other people. Or there could be something about you being very giving and charitable to people in your energy. Like, they're saying that that has not changed. Even though this person tried to um, betray you or stop you or block you. They tried to block you from moving on. It's the same energy as before. So, whoever this is, they tried to block you. And this could have been because of a karmic feminine. This is somebody who is a queen of wands in reverse. So, this person is somebody who uses... Um, the way that they look or their sexual energy in a negative way. Um, this is somebody who could be very hateful or mean or spiteful. This is somebody who could be quick to anger or very impulsive. Um, and this, this could be someone who's very catty. The eight of cups in reverse, the knight of pentacles in reverse and the fool has come out. So with these cards together, it's like somebody wanting, they're looking at what it is that they have spent all their time on, the way that they've invested, and they feel stupid. 
Um, this is somebody who's very foolish and they feel like they didn't get the start that they thought they were going to get. And this could have been with a Queen of Wands in reverse. This Queen of Wands could have a child. Um, so they could be with the Karmic Feminine who has a child either that they share together or that um, whoever this person is, is not the, the parent of this child with the Queen of Wands for some of you. Like there's another child involved here. Or there has there's something to do with children here. So there could be children that you share with this person. There could be children that are in a household with your children that uh, the biological parents are not um, the same as who your kids' biological parents are. There's something about a community or gossip. And someone is seeing somebody who is being very hateful. So the gossip in the community is talking about a bunch of money or a family situation or a large inheritance or a large sum of money um, and how somebody used hateful communication or lied with malicious intent to try to stop somebody from being able to put up their boundaries. So somebody could have used kids to do this. Um, somebody in... Oh, my hand is itching. So some of you could be getting money. Um, but there's something about... Someone is going to be making... Um, some kind of a statement or putting something down on paper that has to do with money. Or someone is going to be seeing what somebody did. Or there, there's, there's gossip around whatever that has to do with. What is the Three of Swords in universe? So... It looks like, I'm sorry, with the Eight of Cups here in reverse, this is somebody who either wants to, they want to return to you or they know that they can never return to you because this is the viewpoint that you look at them in. Like you could see them a certain way where you never want this person in your energy again. And this could have to do with because they did something to violate your boundaries in a very hateful way, in an abusive way. Um, and they could have used money or family. And there's something about you healing from this energy. Your home is healing. Your health could be improving. Um, if you've just had surgery for something, you're, there's something about you healing that. If you had surgery on your hand, for some of you, I'm seeing something about carpal tunnel. Um, it's like that's going to be healing quickly. I don't know why that's significant. Oh, this could be you and this person. The anxiety between the two of you, that situation is going to be what's healed in either in a home or in a family situation or in a family dynamic. Um, hold on, I just dropped a card. Oh, I see. The Eight of Swords came out. Um... So this is someone who tried to trap you and either block you, stop you, trap you, or imprison you in some situation by being abusive either physically or emotionally in a home or in a situation that had to do with your immediate foundation. There's something about anxiety around this. Because this person sees that you are healing That you care for yourself, that you love yourself. Whoever this is, they could think that you're in another relationship or they could think that there's something that's pouring into you, like you have found something that makes your heart happy. And there's something about that that concerns this person, like they think that they can't um, do anything to trap you any further. Whatever antics they usually use to cause anxiety or cause um, some level of frustration with this abusive communication or with this karmic feminine to betray you or whatever this has to do with 
It's like they know that they cannot do that anymore. There's something about you being proficient in your skills. Like, you are a master of your skills. You're somebody who is, and one of your skill sets, it looks like, has to do with ignoring this person and being happy. Not even just ignoring them, but, like, focusing so much on the happiness that you're walking towards that you don't see this person anymore. And there's something about them seeing that about you. Oh, I almost feel bad for them. Uh, this person, it's like now they're, they feel like they left their family behind or they left their happiness behind or they feel like they're never going to be unhappy or looking at you in this energy of having so much happiness makes them unhappy, which is a really sad way to live your life. Like if your happiness is based on other people being miserable, then that's a really sad way to live. Yeah, the Five of Cups has come out to clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse. So this is someone who's regretting. Um, I'm seeing somebody who was abusive. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody who was abusive and I'm seeing another energy that is determined to make their life beautiful in whatever fashion they um, have at their fingertips. Like, and it's not even that. For some of you, you're manifesting new, like, it's new things. You've created something new. You have created a new path. You've done a lot of um, inner healing. You've done a lot of inner work. And that's not to say that you are completely healed or that you don't have anxiety anymore or that you don't sometimes you know, have things that bother you or lose sleep. It's to say that wherever you were, this person isn't able to access your energy in the way that they were before to, to create their own personal hell for you. Um, and it's gross because I'm seeing the reason that they were being that way is because this gave them some sort of pleasure. Whoever this is is somebody who's very... They're either very sick or they're very unhappy. Like this is somebody who has some sort of chemical imbalance maybe or they have some sort of um, personality disorder or some sort of something that's like it would be helpful for this person to, to seek help. But this kind of person doesn't look at themselves to take the first step to do this in the first place. Um, so instead they're looking at you and trying to figure out why are you happy? They're not understanding that you are happy because you did the thing that they should have done. You looked within. This person's blocked. This person, um, whatever they tried to do is not working or it's not going to work if they're trying to do anything else. Um, you could be, um... A Taurus or a Libra, or you could be pregnant, or you could be creating something new. Um, there could be something like within you that you're manifesting, and you may maybe don't know exactly how that looks. You just know that it makes you happy whenever you think about it. You know that wherever you're going, it doesn't include whatever this other energy is, and you like the way that you're feeling, and that's creating abundance in your life. Um, this person. There's a King of Cups in reverse out here with the strength sideways. So there's something about them being somebody who's very emotionally abusive, emotionally manipulative, somebody who is, um, I'm getting almost somebody who throws like tantrums. Um, and you being so strong is making them feel weak. So there's um, some like polarity here where there's, it's causing the card to come out sideways. It's something about your energy and their energy. It's like it's shifting. The way the way that they felt strong before in abusing you or doing something that was hurtful or hateful because they're not getting what they need anymore because you're not supplying that to them by way of any sort of communication and you're also living some kind of a beautiful life. 
it's like it's making them feel weak, but they're also, it's almost like <laughs> whatever it is that's being drained out of them is being given back to you because it was your energy in the first place. It was you that made this person special. It was your light or the way that you love them or the way that you saw this person that made them feel special. And there's also something about whoever you are. You're somebody who's very abundant and you have a lot or your energy is beautiful that it's like because you were this way, it's like they hated that you were like this, but it made them feel special that someone like you cared for them. So the fact that you're, it's, I'm seeing somebody who's completely blocked. Like there, there's no communication, no contact, no anything. And it's like this is making them, them feel broken or chained or small again. Because maybe before you met them, they, they didn't feel all that great about themselves anyway. This is, um, let's see what else. This could be somebody who's, who's forced to give you money. There's something about taxes here. There's something about, what is this? Disneyland? You could be a Taurus. Mm, you could have a black cat that passed away that is with you. I'm seeing something about a lot of words. Like somebody used a lot of like words to manipulate you or manipulate a situation or to cause confusion. And whatever they did, it was very superficial. Like every single thing that they did, you knew that they were going to do it, but it was still hard to pull away from whatever they were doing. And they're regretting their words or they're regretting... Um, some tie that they have to whoever this karmic feminine is. Uh, I'm seeing um, handcuffs. Oh, that could be significant with this criminal card here. So somebody could be going to jail. Um, somebody could be feeling like they're chained to whatever karmic energy it is that they put out into the world. I just heard face tattoo. Whoever this is, they could feel like that's what they've done. Like they've branded themselves as a criminal. Either with you or with a community of people. Because of something they've done. Some transgression that they've made. Intentionally. Oh, all of these cards. So let's see what these are. So the Four of Swords in reverse. So whoever this is, is not resting. This person feels very chaotic. Um, because they see that you're moving on. They see you're moving on into calmer waters. You could be traveling overseas. Um, some of you, you may need to get a passport so that you can make plans for whatever, something coming up. And the hermit has come out, so... Part of what's making this person feel so restless and chaotic is that you are keeping to yourself. This person, um, this person could be trying to do research on something about behavior. That's weird. Or someone in their energy is trying to do some research about behavior, like your behavior. Like you being to yourself, they think that they're going to Google something or look something up in like a psychology book to figure out why you are behaving this way. Someone could have done something um, very dark at the beginning of all of this, like prayed to an entity or something. I know I said the word entity at the beginning of this reading, but I don't know what it was in regard to because it was just a message. But um, there's something about that here that this person feels um, 
doing something lower level that's going to cause some kind of passing. And, you know, this could be a death of some kind, but death doesn't have to be physical. This could be just a death of this person's energy inside of your energy. Um, there's something about a dark night of the soul here, too. Someone could be... I, I am seeing somebody that could be going to jail for something. Um, and it's going to cause them to go through a spiritual awakening. This could be overdue for someone. Um, and there's something about their performance. Whatever they did was a crime. Like someone lied. Someone did something in a very performative way. And they're, they feel chaotic because of whatever this is. Because it's, you still moved on from the situation. You moved on away from whoever this person is. This is someone who's been there like trying their hardest to chase you or they can't outrun something or there's something about the speed of life or their strength being something that is, even if they're physically strong, there's something about them not being spiritually strong. Their performance wasn't something that was strong enough. So this is someone who lied about something. They weren't able to... Like, this is someone who maybe lied about a lot of things and maybe wrote some stuff down, but they, this wasn't enough evidence to try to do whatever they were doing here. This could be someone who um, gossiped a lot about you or talked bad about anybody who would, any, that's weird. I was going to say talked bad about anybody who would listen, but talked bad to anyone that would listen. So I'm getting somebody who talks about everybody. This is someone who is, um, they just want attention. This is somebody who's an att attention seeker. I just heard, why can't I say that? So for some of you, whoever this is talking about, this is someone who just says whatever they think or says whatever they want. For some of you, there's somebody, and I just heard it in a feminine's voice. I'm, It's like somebody saying something like that to you. Well, why can't I say that? I can do whatever I want. I don't know what that was, but... And... You're right, you can do whatever you want, but there could be consequences for it. <laughs> oh, wow. This says drunkard. So this says alcoholism, addiction, avoidance, and abuse. So that's what I was seeing at the beginning of this. Somebody who abused power or did something, and you could be avoiding this person. And it's putting them in a space of having some sort of like tailspin. Because at the beginning of all of these cards, the tower came out. That was actually, I think, when I said entity. So this person is having some kind of um, like catastrophic emotional storm. And they don't know how to cope with whatever this is. And this has to do with whoever this is, whoever this is talking about. You need to know whoever I'm speaking to right now, you need to know that the thing that made this person strong was you. That this person, whoever this is, is somebody who's very codependent on other people's energies. So this is somebody who, the only reason they felt strong was because they were able to draw strength from you, from your light, from who you are, from you know how special you are. You being in this person's life and the way that they felt about you or how special that they saw that you were is the thing that made them feel like they were special. This is someone that, because they are so codependent, there's something about them. It's like, it makes me think of a blow-up doll. Like, of, you know, somebody poked a hole in them, and then there was nothing of substance in there, so they just deflated. This is somebody who, they're full of hot air. This could be an air sign that this is talking about, because I said that. Um, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart, or you may have a lot of air in your chart, but... I'm seeing somebody that feels 
week because they're not able to siphon any energy off of you after all of this abuse and performance, whatever this is here. They weren't able to move other people by doing whatever they did. This wasn't worth whatever they did. Like this thing that they invested in, like they're not getting their money's worth is what I'm seeing. I just heard something about selling something. So whatever they sold you up the river for, it didn't pan out the way that they thought. They're not getting what they want. And not only that, but it looks like they're in some sort of prison, whether this is a physical prison or something that's mental. And they could be um, attached to a karmic feminine. This karmic feminine could be the person who's um, abusive or an alcoholic, or this could be both of them. I'm also seeing something about this person experiencing a tower and then them trying to run back towards you. Because they they it didn't work, whatever they were trying to do, it didn't work. And they're seeing that the thing that made all of this passion and all of this back and forth and even some of this trauma had to do with the feelings that they had for you, whether these are good feelings or bad feelings. And it's like without you, they feel empty. That's what I was getting. So let's see. Is there anything else from this deck? This person listened to the wrong guide. Whatever they were trying to do to make progress in the situation, they, they were navigated by something that was not directing them on this, the path that they were trying to go down. It says learner, guide in reverse, and educator. Imparter, mentor, guide, teacher. So there's a guide here in upright and a guide here in reverse. Somebody could be seeing that the person that they... Okay. If this person is attached to a group of people or somebody who is karmic to them, they listen to whoever this karmic energy is and they're seeing that that person wasn't connected to anything or that person didn't know anything. Um, and it's like they're wanting to run back towards you because you... Maybe you used to help this person all the time or you were able to guide them in some way or your behavior taught them something either about the world or other people or the way that they should behave. That could be part of what they're learning with this dark night of the soul here. Or this is somebody who's always um, seeking some sort of knowledge. This could be somebody who's like really into the news or really into um, the way the mind works or really into uh, what's going on, you know, like, this is someone who could maybe always constantly have the news on in the background um, because they're constantly trying to, like, soak in things to... Oh, that's so weird what I just heard. I heard to sound smarter than other people. But for whatever that is, there's something about them. They used to learn things from you, and there's something about them learning from a guide that's in the reverse. So this is somebody who is misguided, who's it's the blind leading the blind. And there's somebody who could be coming back towards you because they see you've made something beautiful out of this mess that they tried to cause you. Yeah, that you cultivated something new. And that you're going to be reaping some sort of a reward here at the end of all of this. Because you didn't invest your time in whatever it is that they invested their time in. You did not engage in whatever this is. You took what was left of your beautiful heart and moved on to a situation that made more sense for you. And for a lot of you, you could have isolated yourself for a very long time. You could still be doing that. Um, but there's something about you're about to have happy days ahead or sunny days ahead or something where... 
you're just going to be somebody who is able to stand in the sun and smile. There's something good that's coming for you. So that's the message. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.